Clavio versus Miljet. Now, this video is going to be a quick comparison. I'm going to show you basically everything that you need to know about both of these email marketing tools, including what they are used for, the differences, the pricing, and overall, which of these tools is a better fit for your business. So, if you are interested in potentially picking up one of these email marketing tools, then keep watching, as this is going to be the most valuable video you ever watch. Okay, so the first thing that I will say is this is pretty cool, but both of these tools offer SMS. Now, SMS is very, very handy. I really like it. And what it is, is basically text messages that just look like this. So you can either text message someone to say like, your booking is confirmed. Now the best way to do it, in my opinion, is like this. So you can literally sell to people as SMS. So quick question, Lisa, we see you like our vanilla sky hand soap. So we think you'll love our new vanilla and cinnamon body lotion. Want to try it, order it here. So the fact that these have a 98% open rate is crazy. It is so cool that you can do this with either of these tools. Now, I will say that in terms of the SMS feature, uh, I do prefer Clavio. I think it's just easier to use and overall it's better. So that is the first thing that I will say. Now, these are both primarily email marketing tools, right? So which of these is better? Now, I have to say once again, it's got to be Clavio. It's just got to be. Miljet, it's okay, but you can see here, this is an example of the drag and drop feature. Once again, it's okay and it works very well. However, it's just not quite as slick and it's not as professional as Clavio. Clavio do have an all round better software. Uh, it has more features, it's easier to use and it's just all round nicer. Uh, but as I say, Miljet's okay. Majority of the things are that you can do the same. You can automate emails. So for example, uh, flow trigger metric here is if a Stripe payment fails, uh, when someone filled payment, you send them filled payment email one, wait three days, send it again. Uh, now this can be swapped out for anything. You can say if somebody abandons cart, send them an email, wait three days, send them another email. And you can do this on both of these tools. So as I said, they are both pretty similar in terms of like the, the base foundations of what they are and what they do. However, Clavio is slightly better. It's more professional and it does have some more advanced features that Mailjet doesn't. Even on Captera, people say this. So you can see Miljet 4.3 stars out of 5 and a 79% likelihood to recommend. On Clavio, 4.7 stars. So it, it's rated quite a lot better and 80% likelihood to recommend. And uh, if you want some more detail into this, you can just come down here and read into the reviews. There's a bunch of reviews for both of these tools. Uh, so this software makes it fantastic to see if there's any problems people are having with this. The final part that I want to touch on is the pricing. And this is arguably one of the most important parts of any email marketing tool. They both do have free trials. If I go here, set this to zero, you can see this $0 a month, zero to 250 contacts. So 250 contacts is not much. 500 emails you can send per month and up to 150 free SMS messages. That's terrible. That is such a bad free trial and it's so limited. And then Miljet, it's slightly better. <laughs> Definitely not by much. Uh, 6,000 emails per month or 200 emails per day. That's what you get with the free trial. Now, sometimes, well, most of the time, I should say, with an email marketing tool, you'll get like 15 or 30 days completely free. So yeah, that these tools are not very good. Okay, so jumping into the actual pricing, uh, we can see here, uh, although Clavio does charge you on how many contacts you have, we can also see how many monthly emails you can send. So that is how we will price this. Now, with Miljet, you can send 50,000 emails per month for $35. With Clavio, $100 for 50,000 emails. So it's like so much more expensive for Clavio. However, don't click off yet because Mailjet actually does get more expensive the more you go. So look, this this essential plan here, you can't get any more than 50,000 emails. So when we go to 100,000, we need to pay $95 a month. Now for 100,000 emails on Clavio, we will be paying $150. So Clavio is still more expensive, uh, but that gap is closing, right? So now let's try um, 250,000 emails, $400 on Clavio, compared to 225 on Miljet. So that gap does widen up again. So as you can see, Clavio is quite a lot more expensive. Now, would I recommend paying for Clavio? Mm, it really depends on your business. Like, this isn't a crazy amount to pay. I will say that. It's a lot more than Miljet. 
for example, for 250 emails, you're paying like almost double the price. So that looks a lot more expensive. But in reality, for 25,000 contacts, $400 actually isn't too much. So it's just a question of, should you pay extra money for a better software? And I would say in some cases, yes. So if you're an agency or if your primary thing is email marketing, like your business is centered around email marketing, then I would recommend that you pick up Klaviyo. Of course, like it's the main thing in your business. However, if it's just like a back end thing, like your main business is a personal brand or your main business is a e-com store or anything like that. And as I say, your email marketing is done on the back end then it's not worth paying for Klaviyo. And that's when you should just go with Mailjet. That is what I will say. Now that is Klaviyo versus Mailjet. If you learned something from this video or if you found it valuable in some way, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.